So we have one here from Moist Critical or Penguin Z. And it says, worst live stream ever. I don't know how this guy finds this. Moist, literally, he's like a treasure trove of the worst things ever. <laughs> he just finds these really random, weird ass things. I don't know where he finds them. Probably like, yeah, subreddit to some woman abusing a man in core video. Yeah, I think so. It's the the thumbnail shows it at least. So let's let's give it a let's give it a whirl. I have been patient. I have been trying. I have been waiting, but you are not yet subscribed. Why? Subscribe. It's baffling how common it is for people to live stream their most embarrassing moments on purpose. They're filming mm -hmm. their own lowlights, their own worst ofs for the montage of shame. Things. Mo I don't think it's that baffling. I think we live in an era where most people have no concept of social awareness, right? The idea to look at your actions and be like, wow, this isn't really good. I should probably not do this. I, I saw literally a, a, a live stream fail post today of a TikToker that just got jailed for three years because in order to make his TikTok video, he set up a table and a chair on a tram rail. So where a tram is supposed to move, on the tram rail, and then sat down on the chair at the table to light a cigarette while his friend was filming him lighting the cigarette as you see the tram having to stop for this moron that now wants to you know get 15 seconds of fame or whatever on tiktok and i i was just like dude where's your common courtesy there's people on that tram line that's likely late for work or heading from work they're tired they they really don't want to be dealing with your bullshit what makes you feel like you are important enough that you can just do that, right? And everyone else, screw them. I'm living my best life. This is for my work. I don't think three years is enough. I think someone like that should be sent to jail for 15 years. Just get them out of society. Don't even send them to jail. We should set up these little TikTok towns, right? New towns, a whole new town. And if you get caught doing things that upset normal ordinary people you get sent to that town whether you be a streamer a tiktoker a youtuber it doesn't matter if you are interfering with ordinary people's lives you get sent off to this town and you have to stay in that town for the rest of your life you're not allowed to leave there's guards at every entrance and every exit you stay there so you guys can make each other's lives miserable while leaving the rest of the human race alone to do their shit right because i am sick and tired sick and tired of these influencers wanting to do you know wanting to be famous on tiktok of all places there's no money on tiktok but they want the fame they want i guess they want to tell their friends how famous they are or whatever most people would want buried forever they are proudly with a smile on their face broadcasting to their audience for content. Today an extremely trashy stream clip has gone viral with a streamer named Elisa Jordana firing up a live stream after learning that her boyfriend has been cheating on her. I'm gonna go through most of what happens in the stream but the clip everyone's seen which we'll get to towards the end So you took a moment that should be filled with a lot of regret, a lot of shame, basically one of your worst moments in life, and you filmed it. You Not just filmed it, you streamed it. Dude, if that is not the mark of a sociopath, I don't know what is, because I've been through breakups. I've even been through a breakup where I was cheated on. That was not a moment that, number one, I ever want to relive again when I found out. And more importantly, that was not a moment I wanted anyone to know about, right? That's like your moment. You, you really don't want anyone. In fact, 
it's your moment against your will. Like, you don't even want that to be your moment, uh, let alone, like, the world's moment. That is some sociopathic BS. Is at the very end of the stream, it's about two hours and 20 minutes, she gets her boyfriend in the car, and then she starts attacking him while she's driving. So she starts physically hitting him. And then she hits him very hard in the nose, like a full-blown strike to the nose, like a monk's palm strike to his nose. It was quite a wallop. Like, if she was playing that boxing bag game that you see at bars where it measures your punch and it, like, grades your force up to 999, she probably would have scored, like, a 700 with that strike. So it definitely could have caused some damage. She threatens to kill him, and then she continues to escalate it. She grabs on his ear and starts pulling on it, and then he starts fighting back. So he starts fighting her. He starts yanking on her hair, telling her to stop the car. And she does stop the car. He continues yanking and pulling on her. She gets out of the car. He gets out of the car, chases her down. And then he gets back in the car and turns the stream off. Without a doubt, one of the worst lines... Man, that is just... But to be fair... You get what you get, right? But you get what you get. I genuinely believe that it takes a special kind of woman to hit a man. I don't think the woman that I would date would ever do that. Um, like, not even in that scenario, right? Not even when they've been cheated on would they hit uh, the man that cheated on them. They would just leave the man that cheated on them because they wouldn't degrade themselves to the point where they would do that, right? So I kind of feel like if that's the woman you went for anyways, you kind of probably deserve it. And that's probably also, you know, that relationship was always going to end because you're both idiots that should never be in relationships ever with anyone. Stupid man, the obvious play was to ask her to check if the back tire isn't popped. And then once she gets out of the car, just drive away and live happily ever after. I don't want that guy to live happily ever after because he did cheat on her. And I, I have very little time for cheaters. Like, I have no problem if you want to sleep with someone else. Go to your partner and be like, hey, I bre I'm breaking up with you because I want to have sex with someone else. All right, cool. Mad respect, bro. You were honest. You followed your heart, whatever that may be. And, you know, you're riding someone else's dick. No problem. What I do mind is when you cheat, because that shit is fucking disgusting, and and you should not be forgiven for that, ever. Uh, apparently the guy cheated on her, too bored? Live streams I can think of in recent memory, it's hard to watch, it's awful, it's it's crimes, like, you're, you're, you're watching crimes unfold. He lied so much to me, he lied so much to me, and he lied and he's told her, like, he told her I'm just, like, a streamer, and it was just an investment, and, like, the whole time he was talking to me, he was talking to her. The whole time. But why are you streaming this? Why are you sharing this, you fucking stupid... Why? Why are you streaming this? Ah, and then she has this shrill voice that, quite frankly, if I dated a girl with this voice, I'd just leave. I would just break up within five seconds. I, I can't listen to this. You're hurting my ears. Time. Gad Zooks, what in the f would possibly possess you to want to start <laughs> a live stream after learning something so heavy? That makes no sense. How poisoned must your brain be to possibly come up with an idea like this? Learning that your boyfriend has been cheating on you and then immediately turning it into a stream for content? That's incomprehensible i don't understand why people yeah but if you're a content creator then everything becomes content dude i hate that oh my i hate that oh man um i, I sort of have a rule in relationships no pictures for social media pictures are fine but if you tell me i want to take this picture because i want to upload it to instagram or whatever off. I, I don't share relationships with the public because I think that's just cringe as shit, right? My content isn't about relationships. Why the hell would I want to be? my? Why would I want my relationship to be on social media first and foremost? I also don't think you should be speaking about your relationships to anyone because it doesn't matter. And I don't think, but this is the problem, right? Most of these people think that their lives, they have main character syndrome. 
that's what's going on here. They think their lives are so interesting, so cool, that the world must see this. This is the drama episode, right? This is the drama. And since their whole lives is one big television series, how can they not include, in, you know, the, 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 the tension rounds? Because right after this, she's going to have her Euro arc, right? She's going to go to the gym. She's going to get into shape. She's going to kick ass. Rocky's back, like soundtrack is going to be playing in the background. And all of her fans are going to be like, oh, shit, yes, let's go, bro. And then she's going to, you know, rise from the ashes like a fucked up phoenix or some shit. That's what's going to happen here. And she has to show her viewers this because they have to see her at her lowest. Because if you can't handle her at her lowest, you don't deserve her at her base, you know? Apparently, this woman used to work for Howard Stern at one point. That does kind of make sense, though. And she's been obsessed with seeking her own fame. Yeah, but that's most people. Yes, queen. Absolutely. You know it, Massey. People want to broadcast every single waking moment of their lives to a bunch of strangers online. A ton of goobers who are just going to sit back tossing popcorn down their gullet because it's just entertainment to them. Even though it's your life that's being ruined in real time. Why do that? Jack Bauer couldn't torture me enough to force me to go live after learning something like this. He could put all <laughs> the jumper cables he wants on my nipples and scrotum. I still wouldn't do it because it's it's a horrible thing to want to put out there. I couldn't Bro. even imagine just firing up the stream. Hey guys, this one's going to be a little bit different than usual. Turns out she's getting piped by another man right now. <laughs> They're steaming ham as we speak. Oh, oh shit. Thanks for the $6. Charlie's girl is slobbering on my neat. Ha ha ha. <laughs> and sending her money on Venmo. Yeah, but why are you surprised? I'm not surprised, Brandon. I'm not surprised. Actually, I'll go yeah. to Tanger's outlets right here. I just don't get why you would cry over him. Those lips, though. You know, she has all the Botox. Like, literally all of it. There's none left in America. There's a shortage right now. They're waiting for China for another shipment. Um, now, what's interesting, listen to the guy she's talking to. I don't know who the guy is, but this is such a simp line from guys. Like, did I have, I have heard this before. They, every guy that has ever dated girls knows this. The best friend. Right? The guy that's her friend. But you know, because you're a guy, you know that he doesn't just want to be friends. So whenever you have any fight, whenever you have any disagreement, this motherfucker keeps saying bullshit to her. Like, oh, but he's not worth it. You know, just, just look at how he's treating you. And you're like, bro, what are you talking about? I had to work late. Like, it's not because I don't love her. It's because I had to work late. Like, what are you talking about? She's a, I'm a bad person because I had to work late. Unlike you, motherfucker, who would literally give up everything just for a chance that she might touch your PP, right? Every guy knows this. This is just such a <laughs> shoulder to cry on as a dick to ride on. Fat Sacco talking through. Uh, he cheated because he got sick of her shit. I, I would get sick of her shit. Siggy, 14 months part of the DJ Nation. Appreciate you, fam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just listen to this guy, please. Should I go to Tanger's outlets right here? I just don't get why you would cry over him, dude. Like, oh, you already shit. got money. You already supposedly got money from him. I did, but he still was very bad, Brandon. Yeah, so what do you think would happen if you're going to marry him this and that? I'm not marrying him, Brandon. I'm obviously not yeah, marrying him. Yeah, but I'm saying if you... She then goes for this joy ride, or lack thereof joy, and it's the most distracted driving I've ever seen. No exaggeration. She doesn't even pretend to be paying attention to the road. She is glued to her phone or reading the chat, I believe, because she does get donations. She has text-to-speech enabled, so she is getting donations throughout this stream. And she is always looking at something other than the road. That is extremely dangerous, not only to herself, but all of the people on the road around her. And you can see that she busts out that crazy U-turn and gets honked at because that came out of nowhere like a jump scare to all the other drivers. <laughs> it, like, this is just 
It's unhinged. This is, again, unacceptable. It's illegal. You can't be driving like this. I understand she's upset after finding out her partner's been unfaithful. Anyone in the world would feel the same way. No, but that's exactly, Charlie, what you don't understand. She isn't upset. If she was actually upset, she would not be doing this. If you are actually upset, you don't want the world to know about it. If, dude, if my experience has taught me anything, there's basically one emotion that men and women share in that moment that is pretty much universal, and that is shame. The second you find out that you've been cheated on, you can't not experience an incredible amount of shame. Eventually, you figure out that, wait, what the hell am I ashamed of? I didn't do anything wrong here. This person did something wrong. But shame is almost always the first response. This girl doesn't have any of that, right? No shame whatsoever. Just let the world know what my problems are. Hey, honey, can we break up? This relationship between us isn't getting me the views I need for the channel to grow. Massey, it kind of feels like that, right? Hey, but not many people in the world would handle it the way she is by starting up a live stream for people to be tuned in on with everything. Not yeah. only is she very dangerously behaving here on the road, but then she then starts just dropping all kinds of personal information publicly. Just publicly revealing a lot of things that 100% should stay private. Why is that an L? I'm gonna go to Tanger's Outlet actually with his card right now. All right, let's do that. Tanger's Outlet. Let's, let's go on a shopping spree. Hope you find your way home. 48 JSK. Not that much money left. Should I spend this money? Sparrows for everyone? Another lore dump for you for why she drove to the mall here. It's because yeah. she had his wallet and stated she wanted to go on a bit of a shopping spree with his cards. And then on stream, she actually opens his wallet and shows his driver's license and says, should I, th should I drop his cards in the Discord? So threatening to also just show his cards to her community. She then takes money out of his wallet and says, Is that not illegal? I feel like that may just be illegal. That's doxing in most places, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I want to be honest here. I have no problem with this girl going on a shopping spree. I would prefer if, uh, you know, she didn't go on a shopping spree live. But I think, look, if someone cheated on you and you happen to have his wallet with you, go for it, right? Like, go for it. Spend as much money as you want. Buy whatever you can, right? This dude got his dick sucked by another girl. You deserve it, right? <laughs> but not live on air. Obviously not live on air. In Germany, that's two years plus prison. If you are unlucky, dance at Moonlight, how are you doing? Uh, it should be prison time. Because should I buy food for everyone? Mm -hmm. Those are all crimes. Again, you're, you're compiling evidence against yourself. You're doing the police's job for them. You are actually showcasing criminal activity. Now, unless I miss something, she doesn't actually spend any of his money. She doesn't actually use any of his cards there. She just makes the threats that she could and would do so. She does, however, actually open his wallet and you can see his driver's license clearly because she's bouncing it around like something out of the Disney Channel. So you can see that, but I don't think you can make out any of his other cards. But regardless, do driver's licenses in America have your social security number on it? Because in South Africa, your identification number is on your driver's license. So that would be massive, right? Like that would be huge. If, if someone did that in South Africa, you'd basically know everything there is to know about that person. Because our ID numbers are pretty advanced, pretty difficult to crack. But once you have it, like, if you have someone's uh, like identification number, there's nothing you can't know about that. Like, literally nothing, because you use that for everything. You can't open anything in South Africa without providing that number. <clears throat> Name, date of birth, address. Interesting. Yeah, because you're... It's on your driver's license, like, very, very easy to see. 
by our own actions. I think I know why the guy cheated. Massey, yeah. Although I still don't agree with, like, I don't believe in that thing of, you know, uh, I cheated because she was bad. Because I think two wrongs don't make a right. If she is a terrible person and you are not happy with her, then leave her, right? Do the honorable thing. Go up to her and be like, hey, this isn't working out. I'm sorry. Take your shit and go, right? Don't cheat. Because no one deserves that, no matter how bad she is. Because always remember, she's bad for you. And maybe she's bad with you. Doesn't automatically mean that she is bad. It just means that you and her, not mixing. So then leave her. Don't cheat. I don't like cheating. I, I have a massive issue with cheating. Because uh, I think it's cowardly, first and foremost. I think it's really disgusting. And it's kind of dangerous. Because, well, you know, uh, especially these days with hookup culture, SDIs walk around like people with hats. They're everywhere. I, I, I genuinely don't think it's good. If you're just going around getting your dick into a, literally everything that walks, um, they, and then obviously still sleeping with your partner, which is disgusting. So yeah, I'm I'm not I'm very much against cheating. This whole thing should have never been put online. I don't know why she made the decision to start streaming this. Again, she does have text to speech donations enabled, so it's possible that this is all just to get some, title, like, money from people that are sympathizing with her because she's she's going through something horrible. Getting cheated on sucks. Mm -hmm. But the way she's handling it is awful. She's distracted driving, dangerously putting other people's lives at risk on the road, threatening to commit some criminal actions live, and then it ends with her assaulting him, physically assaulting him live. Like, this is a horrible stream. Are we gonna see that? So I don't there we go. Discord's stupid. A lot of people say that, right? So, um, all of Scora's private information is as well, uh, Sarah's phone number, Sarah's address, her full name, her Venmo account, transactions, are all Jeans the donated the five dollars. Is your Mexican children. girl hot? It sounds as though Elisa... Is that her boyfriend next to her? <laughs> um... He looks pathetic. Like, far be it for me to kick him out when he's down, but... He looks pathetic. He looks like the kind of guy that she was in charge most of the relationship anyways. Has fully doxxed the guy and the girl here posting all of their private information in her Discord, which is illegal. You can't do that. I also think it's worth mentioning since you caught a glimpse of it there. Anytime that girl, Sarah, is brought up during this stream, both Elisa and the community of pay piggies that's donating to her always make sure to mention that she's Mexican. And they make statements in the chat about that as well. Throughout the stream, reading the oh. chat, there were so many moments of genuine racism, it was sickening. Oh. I called Sarah, you bitch, I'm a no, no, no. Fe Fe okay. Sorry, sorry, Fe sorry. Was... You... Yep. I'm sorry, but... In my opinion, and it may just be my opinion, but no, no self-respecting man should ever, and I mean never, wear pink. That may be a sexist opinion. I don't give a f Don't wear pink. Why the hell are you wearing pink? That is just weird, bro. Like, why would you even want to? I can't think of a color of shirt or clothing that I would wear less than pink I, I would rather go out naked than wear anything pink ever pink is too soft as a color for me it just it feels too soft as far as i'm concerned i don't want to wear it because i would feel incredibly uncomfortable in it I, I would just have this incredibly uncomfortable feeling all the while wearing this neon pink hat it is just nuts. Bilger, how you doing? The guy just looks pathetic. And I, I'm not trying... Yeah, <laughs> those are kitty shoes, by the way. I didn't even notice those. <laughs> but those are some kitty shoes right there. But this, by the way, um, this is the danger with dating nice guys. Most girls know this because most girls have had their run-in 
with these guys, but this is the danger with dating a quote-unquote nice guy. They're not actually nice. They're pathetic. And that translates to a lot of women as being nice because he's too weak and too cowardly to ever stand up for himself and ever just be a man. And w what happens is, at least from what I can gather, a lot of women, after having a number of really bad relationships with boys, kind of mistake the niceness, the weakness for nicety. I mean, this shit happens. Because when you look at this guy, it is quite clear that the only reason he cheated on her is because he doesn't have the guts to break up with her. And this is just a nice way for him to get out of it. Um, <clears throat> hell no, bro. No. If women act like that with me, big no, no. If she act like that with me, then there is a big problem. Break up for me. Insanity. So the thing here is this dude deserves to be shamed, right? He was an absolute asshole. He cheated on this girl, right? There's nothing wrong with this. What this girl is doing, I don't necessarily have a problem with. Uh, I mean, I would not date a girl that handles it this way. But still, the problem for me is just the fact that she's live streaming it. That's the only issue I have here. Is they, She's making things public that really should stay between you and the person. But I can't understate the fact. I get so, like, there's so many red flags with this guy. So many red flags with this guy. Had hit him in my presence. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the bad uh, well, topic. Well, I think I should talk about it. No, I, I said I, I'm going to stop talking about it. Okay, good. No, it's not okay. Are you, you've ever been cheated on for two years with you know a what? 20-year-old Mexican? Not, I'm I doubt not getting it. into yeah. my business. Okay, all right, well, I'm just telling you that's my business. I, I really don't want to talk to you. This happened shortly before the viral clip from this stream where she starts hitting him in the car. So prior to them getting in the vehicle, she pushed him outside and it was actually observed by someone who confronted her about it because in this instance, her violent outburst was in broad daylight in view of public and bystanders. So yeah. someone came up to her, I believe it was an officer, and talked to her about it. And even during this talk, Elisa still finds a way to mention that the other girl is Mexican. Hello? Hi. Hi, Sarah. How are you? How are you, Hi. Sarah? I got Hi. Can you Thanks so much for calling. I'm just gonna send you like six months of texts of uh, your nudes and you know different sentences that he. Sir, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. Don't f***ing talk. Ah, oh, it's hard, man. It's it's really hard watching someone this pathetic. It's not staged, Pringles. This is real. This is real. This all happened live. There's an actual live stream out there with this. Like, it is it is tough to watch someone this pathetic. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Like, first and foremost, okay, so let me put myself in his position, right? So I cheated for some fucked up reason, and now I'm in this position. First and foremost. There is no shot, no shot that she punches me even once without me pulling up the handbrake, getting out of the car, and telling her to go f*** herself, right? That's me. That's it. We're done. You've hit me. I don't know why I'm here in the first place. Obviously, I've cheated on you, so I don't expect this relationship to ever come back together, nor do I necessarily want the relationship to come back together, so I don't know why I'm in this car. But let's imagine for a second that I am in this car. I would not allow her to phone the girl that I had cheated with for a number of reasons. Number one, I'm not pathetic enough to sit there and have my current girlfriend that's soon to be my ex-girlfriend speaking to the girl that I had my dick in not that long ago. I, I, I would not submit myself to that level of degradation. Like, no f chance. The fact that this guy is sitting there and his only thing is... Sarah, I'm sorry. It's like, what? What? Like, really? I, how? Oh, wow. I would be, I, I would be nuts. I would go nuts, bro. Oh, man. This is hard to watch. Uh, yes, yeah, Sarah, we're really sorry about this. I'm sending him your way today. Fucking... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, so, so, so Bahram, ba Bahram, how do you pronounce it? Do you know? I don't know. Shut the f
I cut out the ending. He How does a guy like that? I mean, she's not the hottest girl in the world, but she's not super ugly either. How does this guy manage to get her, but then also manage to get another girl? Like, dude, what the f is going on? Is it money? Do you really believe that it's money? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I just think, um, I think a lot of girls have no uh, system. Like the natural system that's meant to show red flags. Because I'm not even talking about his looks here. I'm not referencing his looks. Because I've said this to you guys before. Guys are not particularly handsome to begin with. It's not like we are super hot to start off with. If like you can look like anything, if you're nice, like genuinely nice, if you're a good guy, and if you believe in yourself, you're gonna get a lot of goals, right? Just guaranteed, you're gonna get a lot of goals. You don't have to be Brad Pitt in order to land a check, because girls tend to focus on so many other things than just the looks. So even an ugly guy can get goals. I'm specifically talking about his actions like the way he is how does a guy like that get girls how is a girl looking at that guy and not having major red flags going off while she's looking at this guy how is that not happening here because it, it it's a lot like even this much i don't even know if youtube will allow me to show i'm really not sure it's legitimate assault so she hits him a couple of times, the nose hit by far being the biggest blow. And then after where I cut it off, he grabs her hair and starts yanking and pulling on her. And she starts talking about how he's killing her and the car stops. And then eventually she gets out of the car. He chases her down. I think she gets in another vehicle in the background. And then he comes back into the car and turns the stream off. It's it's a horrifying thing to watch, to be honest. As of right now, Elisa has been arrested. Her mugshot and booking information is all out there for this incident. There's no update on the guy or what's going on with that part of all of this, but what Deserved, a really awful live stream. Now on Twitter, Deserved. there's been a lot of debate about this video on whether or not the man's actions were justified in this situation. And most people are saying that they were claiming that he was acting in self-defense. And it seems like the law would agree with them on that take because from everything I can find, he hasn't been booked or charged with anything. Now, I think it's important we remember that the guy in this video is no saint. He cheated on his significant other. That is the behavior of a piece of shit. But under Ooh. no circumstances does anyone deserve to be beaten like this. He's not a good guy, uh, but he is still the victim of an assault. I, I would be okay with bringing beatings back for cheaters. <laughs> I, I would not be opposed to that. I genuinely think cheating is absolutely disgusting. I think you are first and foremost being incredibly irresponsible. And I want you to understand where my thinking comes from. Imagine if you're cheated on and then you find out that you have HIV or you have some STI that you're basically going to be dealing with for the rest of your life. And it wasn't because of you. You weren't the one who slept around. You weren't the one who fucked around. You had one girlfriend or one boyfriend, and that was your girlfriend and boyfriend, right? Their cheating is what did this to you, right? That, to me, is the biggest reason why I think cheating should absolutely be against the law and why I wouldn't mind if beatings were brought back for cheaters, because you are effectively not only Right, every single time you go for a random hookup or you go to sleep with someone, you're, you know, rolling the dice. You have no idea what this person is up to. You have no idea where this person has been. There can be a million things wrong, but you're rolling the dice. And as long as you're happy to roll that dice and you're happy with whatever outcome happens there, cool shit, bro. I couldn't give two fucks. It's your life. The problem is that when you cheat, you're rolling the dice on my life. I didn't roll that dice. In fact, you didn't even ask me if you were allowed to roll the dice on my life. You just did it. And I just have to accept that that is what happened. So my life is now in not even your hands. It's in some random person's hands that I've never met, most likely. 
and I have to be okay with that. That is why I find cheating beyond disgusting. I knew a woman who had that happen. She was married and faithful, and her husband went out and fucked around and gave her genital herpes, the gift that keeps on giving for the rest of your life. Oh, bro. You see that, Peter Lee? That's my issue. Assault. And I think all of the video evidence suggests that this was a case of self-defense. He didn't lash out at her or strike at her until she went in again for like the third or fourth time assaulting him. And then he did fight back. Now, I do think there is a case to be made that he may have taken it too far because he does yank and pull on her for quite some time, even once the car comes to a complete stop. So I think he probably could have gotten out of the car at that point and just left it entirely, left the situation entirely, but I also don't know the entire situation on where it was stopped, if it may have been dangerous to do so, I don't know. But overall, I do agree that this does seem to be him defending himself like from getting attacked in this vehicle. Overall, this was a awful live stream. And I really don't think this is going to be you the last say? of its kind that we see because nope. it feels like it's getting more and more common with people wanting to live stream every moment of their lives, even mm -hmm. the worst parts of it. So there'll probably be more things like this in the future, which sucks. That's I, I think it's just an awful direction, but just wanted to talk about this. That's about it. Man. It's just cringe. It's just cringe, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> may I never, may I never, like, if I ever get into a relationship again, may it be with a girl that isn't this, because holy shit, the, the, I, I feel disgusted with what I just saw, I, I feel a sense of disgusting, like, just, I want to puke a little, like, I, I really don't like this, remember live stream, the breakup? <laughs> Shadius, I can promise you that will never happen. Hey, here's what would happen if I was in a relationship or if I broke up with someone. You guys would probably not even know about that until, like, until you find out basically by accident. <clears throat> so there are certain things in my life that I don't really share. And relationships is one of those things. I don't talk about relationships that I have. I don't talk about people that I talk to. None of that, right? That shit just doesn't make it into the conversation. When I share, uh, like, in interactions that I have, that I've had with girls, it's usually because I got rejected or because it was a good reaction, but I didn't like them or whatever the case may be, right? So I'll talk about that. I'll talk about my failings. But once I'm in a relationship, I will not share that shit no matter what. Right, I don't like talking about shit like that. I don't like talking about my feelings or whatever. So I'll just ignore that crap. You won't even know. 